How we doing guys? Myself, Chris Petty, OBE, just a quick one. I'm just going to tell you straight, I'm vexed. I don't know if you've not seen this Channel 5 thing, live, street crime, whatever. What? Why? Why? Why have we got another one? They done the ganglands, what did they get? What, what was you hoping to get out of ganglands? What was you hoping to get out of it? We never achieved the objective. It was like, oh, you know, we were trying to understand the gang culture and rare, rare. We all know the gang culture. We was doing a march the other day, marching for our kids that's been suffering, that's been killed on our streets. I got open to Sick and tired of this, like, we just marched on the 7th of May, bruv, marching for all the young people that's lost their life. Unfortunately, a young person actually lost their life after the march. Yeah, after the march. So we're trying to battle, we're trying to work so hard to fight this epidemic that we're facing. And then Channel 5 want to put something on like that. Why? What was the purpose? What was the objectives? What did they hope to get out of it? I don't understand. And then you want to be putting that like gang lands and trying to glorify it and trying to make it seem all cool again. I've, 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 I've got, I'm, I'm, I'm up to here. I'm up to here with this. And I'm out on the streets 24 7. I just left the school in Tottenham. Now I'm in Barnet going to another school to try and pattern up some more kids. And they're going to probably tell me the same thing that they watch the thing like, oh yeah, it's cool, it's calm. Yeah, people get stabbed all the time. That's what, that's what, that's what goes on, Chris. Yes, it's normal to them. It's like the norm, it's like it's secondary. And I'm sick of it. And we as parents need to stand up and do something, bruv. I don't care, bruv. I'm talking to all you parents now. All you parents need to pattern up your ways because I saw one of them youths on there. One of the youths are talking about he's a gunman. And he's under the age of 18, bruv. Where's the parents? Where's the adults? How dare you, bruv? How dare you allow this child to go on there, bruv, and talk that? How did even Channel 5 get to even interview him if he's so much of a gunman? Who was their, who was their contact? Who was their protocol, bruv? How did they get these young people as well? How come there's no parents? And I, I know that we keep saying that we can't blame the parents, but on this one, I have to. How can you not know what your child's doing? Even one of them is like, my mum knows what I'm doing. I'm vexed, you know, I'm upset, I'm hurt. Oh, well, that's the way it goes, isn't it? Man gets poked, isn't it? Op block. They were talking about the op block on, on this show, bro. They're getting me about, man, then we'll run up on the next man's ends just to show how much on this thing they are and, you know, how much they're going to fire back and rare, rare. Guys, we need to wake up and smell the coffee. Yeah? It's real. Yeah? It's not a joke anymore. It's not a joke. And Channel 5, you guys are not helping the situation. Yeah, I said it. You're not helping the situation. Why aren't you putting out a positive messages and showing young kids that there's positive young black males out there? Like myself, like other organisations, like other companies that have been through that struggle. I've come from a struggle. I've so clearly come from the ends. Why aren't you putting me on there to talk about my success story? Why aren't you telling them about Chris Petty OB that's got OB from Her Majesty? Why don't no one know about it? Why don't no more people know about me? Like, I'm vexed, bro. Because this is something that we are part of. This is something that we can stop. But we don't choose to stop it. We're just going to sit there and get upset. I heard someone even say it to me like a couple of days ago and I wasn't even going to watch it. Because someone was like, oh, Channel 5 trying to do some next thing. Boycott it, boycott it. I'm like, no, I'm going to boycott it because they're not, they're not, they're not, they're not, they're not going to do something like that again, like gang lines, because they already got ridiculed for that. No, they've done it again. They've done it again. And now this time it's going to be another episode about the drugs and this and that. What about the people that are actually really struggling, actually trying to make a difference and trying to make a change? That Black Lives Matter, yeah, I'm going to say uh, we're out there screaming that Black Lives Matter. But then we're able enough to allow Channel 5 to do documentaries like this, talking about killing our own. Yeah, killing our own. What do you expect from certain people for certain people to start calling us animals? For certain people to start disregarding us and saying that we're antisocial and that our kids need to be like that, like, just, just put into one box or I'll, I'll put into prison. Right now, guys, I need you guys to kind of nail off your petition, yeah? What I want everybody to do, bruv, I'm going to go on Facebook, bruv, I'm going to put this post out, bruv, and I'm going to at Channel 5 in, bruv, and I need every single one of you lot, bruv, to at Channel 5 in, bruv, and let them know that, you know, we're not happy. We're not happy, bruv. I need as much people as possible to try and get this program, bruv, put down, like, the way they're not playing the second one, bruv, or we got to come making sure that they're not doing any more, bruv. The second one's coming on the, the 16th of May, so that's next Tuesday, yeah? So we've got time, bruv, to try and pattern it, bruv. We need to stand up and say enough is enough, bruv. We need to wake up and smell the coffee and get active, yeah? That's what I need you to do. A lot of people's like, oh, Chris, I want to get involved. What are you doing? What are you doing? This is what I'm doing now. This is what I'm doing, yeah? I'm going to post this video out and help me. Help me to let them know that we're not having it no more. 
It's not fair, guys. There's so much positive young people. There's so much positive things going on in our, in our community. And all we see is badness. All we see is that. What's anybody else going to think? Of course they're going to be thinking, Oh my God. Oh, these kids are in gangs. Oh, these kids, these kids are terrible. Of course they're going to think that. Pattern up your ways, man. Myself, Chris Petty, OBE. Help me to help us. Love, laugh and live. Until next time, I'm out of it. I got all the